Hey, guys. Hi. Hi. Hello. Who are you? Uh, my name is Don McMillan. I am 62 years old, and I'm from Santa Clarita, California. Yippee! <laughs> and tell us, what do you do for a living? I am a stand-up comedian. Ooh. I don't deal with any more comedians. Did you bring anyone special with you today? Uh, just my screen. I use right. my screen. Well, then you and your screen and all of us, let's have a great time together. All right. So I have a kind of interesting background. I was an engineer for many years, and I know what you're thinking. Engineer, this guy's going to be really funny. <laughs> Somebody called me a geek the other day. I'm not a geek. I am not a geek. I'm a nerd. And what's the difference, you ask? I actually have a Venn diagram to show you the difference. <laughs> Takes three things to be a nerd. You have to be smart, socially awkward, and obsessed. Smart, socially awkward, and obsessed, and you are a nerd. Geeks, on the other hand, are really just smart and obsessed. They're Star Trek geeks, comic book geeks. You guys get dressed up, you go to conventions. No nerd goes to a convention unless I'm working IT support. Only reason I'm there. <laughs> At the top here, if you're smart and socially awkward, uh, you're a dork. <laughs> and if you're socially awkward and obsessed, uh, you're a stalker. That's how that works. Oh. So because I'm a nerd, I love charts. I love a chart that explains a whole thing in one chart. Here's what's gonna happen if you're making microwave popcorn. Here's the number of edible pieces on the Y axis. <laughs> and on the X axis is the time. You're at one minute, two minutes, no pieces have popped. Very quiet in the microwave. At some point above two minutes, you don't know where, all pieces are popped, all pieces are burnt. <laughs> okay. The bag is on fire, the smoke alarm is blaring, and your house will stink for at least a week. At least a week. Some of my charts, I can't explain why they're true. I just know from experience, this is what's gonna happen. Here's the locker room at my gym. I am the blue dot, I walk in. I start to get changed. The minute I get all my clothes off, 12 guys walk in, and this is where their lockers are. <laughs> that is so true. <laughs> it defies statistics. Sometimes statistics sound scary, but it's not when you look at it from a different angle. When I first got married, I heard 44% of marriages end in divorce. That's a scary number. Think about that, 40, my wife and I are like, do we stand a chance? Think of the other side. If 44% of marriages end in divorce, you know what that means? 56% of marriages end in death. Until death do us part. <laughs> Those are the two ways that marriages end, folks. If, if you're married, enjoy it now, it does not end well. <laughs> and that's it for me, thank you so much. Thank you. This, you're going to be remembered as the guy who presents his act as a PowerPoint presentation. <laughs> and to deliver it that way is kind of very now, because I think this is amazing. Thank you. That means a lot coming from you, Howie. It really does. I know. <laughs> I mean, that was definitely different. I love that you came with your TV and all your charts, and I mean, you had me in stitches. Thank you. I thought it was brilliant. Your chart, you, your energy. Oh, thank you. I had the best time. Oh, good. I didn't get it. <laughs> but everyone else did. Well, you laughed a little bit. Anyway, and I don't like PowerPoint, so that put me off. Look, it's subjective. You don't have to like every act. Why don't we vote? I'm gonna give you a first yes. Thank you. You get a yes. Oh, thank you, Al. Simon. No. I... I really don't need all this pressure. I was just gonna say yes. Thank you, Sophia. Three yeses in the world. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>
trying to change my two tens, that's a paradigm. A paradigm's I probably go see ya. Paradigms like Heidi and Sophia. I'm a showman, so allow me to show you how I'm good with the jokes like Howie. Doing this for Simon so the world might hear me. Cruise to the top and get jacked like Terry. So whether you were born a jack, a queen, or an ace, or raised as a diamond, joke a spade, or an eight. Simon said he was a little mad at me because I haven't auditioned before. Uh, I think that it was just the good timing. Um, a couple years ago, maybe I didn't feel ready or something, but I'm so glad I'm here now. Thank you so much, everyone. I cannot wait to show you what I have planned for round two. Tune in.